today we are back into Haruhi Suzumiya. Haruhi Suzumiya. Indeed, we've been having a lot of fun with this one. This show is really growing on me <laughs> quite quite rapidly. I I, I I I can bring the thunder. Yeah. I really dig this show. Yeah. This is this is this is an amusing show. It started out very strange and it just keeps strange. <laughs> Yeah, when we have this very, um, shall we say, self-confident young woman yes. <laughs> uh, focusing on the show, which we get here in the, in the very beginning of the opening credit sequence, we see that very hard-charging uh, behavior of hers. And then uh, we get some ideas <laughs> of various characters I, doing I, their best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really getting a little bit more feel for those characters now, mm -hmm. getting to know who these people are <laughs> now that they're uh, not making their video, uh, a little bit more of their personality aside from when they're acting right <laughs> <laughs> so we start off with our um characters getting in to school and um uh, what we saw actually before this was kion getting used to haruhi and her uh her, her first their first day in school first day of school big big day everybody mm -hmm. is getting back together after being away from mm -hmm. school for break exactly and uh as we were talking about before the the break, there's um, or before the before the show, um, in Japan it's typical on the first day of school everyone stands up and introduces themselves and mm -hmm. says some things about themselves and all that typical stuff. And, Hi, my name is three things about me. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Yep, um, and you're supposed to say, well, you know. I hope we all get together very well, and I hope we have a good we time will, together. We and will work together as a team. Exactly, because we'll we're a all good year. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do our best. <laughs> whereupon Haruhi stands up and says, "Well, if you're an alien or a time traveler or an esper, come talk to me. Otherwise, I have no time for you." And sits down. Which is <laughs> <laughs> that's very different from most people, even here in the U.S. Exactly. That's like a, a bizarre sort of. <laughs> Hello, here, here's who I am. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not the let's do our best. That's mm -hmm. uh, hello. I'm out there. <laughs> very out there. <laughs> yeah, Haruhi is a very distinctive character. Yeah. Now, initially, he thinks, "Well, is this a joke? What is mm -hmm. it? What is the deal with this girl?" <laughs> right, and um, and that's that's the the fun thing is that we get to understand this character through watching our interactions with the character. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of of, of backstory, but then, um, helpfully. Some of the other characters explain to us what they know about her from from the past, and I think it's an interesting um, storytelling um, device. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Kyun uh, uh, is sort of narrating narrating his introduction to her and how he's gotten to know her, mm -hmm. and we see through his eyes uh, who is this person. But it's not just through his eyes; he goes and inquires about mm -hmm. her from previous students and fills in some of the gaps about her background yeah. which it gets more and more complicated as we see she's gone and done crop circle or nazca yep. line type of yep. things painting them onto the the quad and uh, mm -hmm. other sort of strange yeah behaviors that she's exhibited in the past i love the scene here where he's just watching her up there on the she's on the, the school roof and she throws a tennis ball at a dome and that's all she does. You have <laughs> just, no idea why. She just, well, yeah. She's not playing tennis or catch with anybody. She's just throwing <laughs> things at this. <laughs> um, Although the paranormal world, uh, domes have, uh, uh, have, have have sort of a mystic uh, 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 mystery to them because of the um, oh, there's a mm. there's a dome curve in all sorts of oh, stupas. Stupas okay. are uh, suspected of being uh, uh, potential devices in. Uh, the Indian book, the Mahabharata, or mm, something like that. They're, they're believed that they may be related to UFOs. Okay. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. so there's all sorts that, of weird. That might be why she's backstory. doing that. That would that would make so much sense. <laughs> so, and one of the things I actually want to uh, talk about here is the character expressions in this episode in particular, because uh, <laughs> do a great job getting across the character's inner state. Oh, their emotion, their attitude, mm -hmm. they're perplexed by, <laughs> oh, how do I respond to this? <laughs> yeah, um, and, and we have these very pleasant characters who just have these very pleasant expressions on their faces, very neutral. Um, Haruhi is always intense. <laughs> She's, yeah. She always has the, those, those the sort embodiment of, yeah, of intensity. Yeah, that sort of V in her <laughs> eyebrows, um, just everywhere she is. And I didn't even notice it the first time um, on the uh, when they're out at gym. She goes and she sits 
the farthest away she can from everybody else. She's not exactly getting into the social norm of things. <laughs> she's standing, she's setting herself apart. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and she, she's just, she's serious. And then of course her she hairstyles. has her, her hairstyle. She changes every day. Um, and then, and again, I think this is it. This is yeah. Oh. This is <laughs> she's, funny. She just yeah. Just, she, she's not worried about social conventions. She'll yep. change she's right in the middle in of the class. class. <laughs> <laughs> I also love and this little animation thing. Um, when she uh, uh, when all the guys go out of the room, notice the, uh, the, the the camera shake as they're going out. It's almost like there's a, there's a thunder. <laughs> as <they're leaving. laughs> the girls are. Oh, yeah, we'll oh, deal dear. with her. <laughs> and close the window Someone's shade. Closing the window. <laughs> Um, and so everyone's telling Kion to just keep away from her. Just don't bother bother with her. He walks in, and I love this thing. He goes, goes, and goes, must be Wednesday, and sits down because <laughs> of her hairstyle. And then he starts talking to her, and she talks back. And it's because he noticed the hairstyle. He he he, you know, he says, you know, so why do you do your hairstyle? She, oh, you got it. And I, I love that that element of the series that it's. You have this weirdo, but just reaching out and not just reaching out and saying, as he did in the beginning, because uh, you completely closed them off, but saying, I noticed that thing about you. Ah, uh, that's the, the, the take in to her. Up until but then, again, she's been pretty cold to everyone. Close to conversation. <laughs> and uh, you're not an alien. Uh, mm -hmm. I have no time for you. You're not a, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and all these other things. And, but he's taken notice and he even engages her in the conversation of, well, yeah. there's a different one every day, and that's very similar mm -hmm. to different days of the week. If you went right. zero, one through set six, you mm -hmm. know, you got seven days of the week. That would be a, and suddenly mm -hmm. she opens up. Oh, yeah. well, it's not like that. <laughs> it's, but it is sort of. <laughs> exactly. Um, and like, she's still kind of ignoring him, but he, but he's at least got something going on. And then she cuts her hair. That's um, a big change. A big change. And of course, that's a, um, there's a, um, a, a long-standing tradition of you know you, of cutting your hair as being a, a sign of moving on of, mm. of, of a big change in your life. Yeah. Um, so I think that's what they're hinting at there. That okay, she's she's trying to try something a little different. Um, but the other side of that coin is she's all about novelty. She's all about trying different things. So okay, she did that for a while, didn't work. Just cut cut the hair and move on. For a girl who doesn't want everybody's attention, <laughs> having a different hairstyle every day that that, that definitely grabs the attention. It sure but, does. But everybody sort of isolates themselves well, from her. And that's the thing. and It's why I think this show is to some extent a commentary on Japanese society because, you know, Haruhi can do all these wild things but because she's not behaving in a way that the group recognizes. Uh, the conventions. Exactly. They just kind of ignore that and kind of move on with their lives and kind of ostracize her in a real way. Mm -hmm. um, part of it is her own doing. Part of exactly. it is social. And yeah. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, she's definitely trying something that most people don't are interested in. You know, intensity. 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 <laughs> All her expressions, her, what she says, everything. Very intense. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Kion, of course, the opposite of that. He's so all laid, laid back. back. <laughs> Remember, there's a Crispin Freeman who voices Kion in this, and he says this is one of the hardest roles he has to play because he has to, A, Kion never shuts up. Um, <laughs> um, but also he has to do this disaffected voice near the mic. For hours on it's end to sound unemotional, yeah, it's very it, casual. It, it, it takes a lot of work. It does. It, it, it's a very, it's a very unusual character, especially for a protagonist, to have somebody who is so laid back. <laughs> um, but a relaxed, laid back protagonist. <laughs> very unusual. And then, of course, uh, Ryoko shows up and asks Kion to. Uh, to, to help out with Miss Essence. That's Miss. the most she's ever spoken to anybody. <laughs> you are now our go-to person. <laughs> he's like the ambassador to her. Yeah. <laughs> Speak to her for us. <laughs> well, very quickly, he's becoming kind of the center of all sorts of stuff going on here, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and uh, the the of course they they, they change <laughs> they, they change to the seat. In, oh. in classrooms, <laughs> and what are the chances she ends up right behind him? <laughs> yeah, everyone uh, uh, comments on the fact that all anime protagonists sit in the back left of every room. Um, it's just it's a wall. That's the for spot. Some reason. That's the spot. And that's 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 where all the cool kids sit. <laughs> exactly. Um, and it's not at all of them, but it, it, it is certainly very very common, and it has some advantages. Um, so, of course, they start talking and they start chatting. And so, Kion does this thing that really ticks her off. Because <laughs> he said, because she wants all this stuff. And he says, well, you know, normal people like us, we should just 
you know, make do with our lives and understand that things are, are the way they should be. And, you know, that's just, that's just life, a, a very normal <laughs> yeah, she, she's she's tried out she's seeking stuff she's tried out every club but yeah. she's stuck with none of them mm -hmm. so she's looking for some some excitement she sure is even though she doesn't <laughs> engage people as much no and um, he's like yeah right. mm -hmm. and finally she gets Boom! the idea <laughs> grabs him <laughs> grabs him and yanks him bam what are you doing i've got Shattered. an idea <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna form a club of course it's in the middle of the the, the room <laughs> Um, so she grabs him, takes him up, um, and so by she, his tie. <laughs> <laughs> by the tie, yeah, I, I think that is kind of Haruhi right there. I think that kind of sums up. But she her. did that in the middle of a class when she <laughs> grabbed him and pulled him and exclaimed that. And they're, they're the teacher. Everybody's looking. What's going on? <laughs> Rather passionate young person. Um, so they decided to form the club. A club. Um, and here's where things start to really, I think, um, get into Haruhi's personality. You know, up to this, we, we know she's kind of a weirdo. But she is so fixated on this idea. Ah, yeah, expressing herself. Mm -hmm. So she she goes to the old building. Yes, and I love, and this is something again. I, I kind of just noticed they cut to various parts of the room, and they cut over to. Do you recognize that? Over yeah. There? Wow. It's an old laptop. I, I had one of those. <laughs> so they cut back to this circa. And, and is that a mimeograph machine? I think it's a mimeograph machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think I had one of those word processors back in the back in the day. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's the hint that this this room has not been used for a while. Wow, um, antiques, it, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and the it's the literature building. club. Where mm -hmm. Everybody has graduated except except the for one girl in the room. One girl in the room, Yuki Nagato, who comes with a room. It comes with a room exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking over this room. This girl, girl comes with the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, we already have a member. She's not complaining about it, so she's part of it. <laughs> and pure Kion is trying to. Poor Kion is trying to be so polite, and he's trying to be considerate of, of, of this girl and what her feelings are. Just gets fine. It's okay. It's this fine. girl's almost as as weird as Haruhi. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she's very quiet. He barely gets two words out of her ever. <laughs> She'll just sit in the corner of the room and she read, and she's fine. And reads. Yeah. As, long, as long as that happens, that's fine. You realize we may have to kick you out of this room at some point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, they need five members of the... Uh, um, the rules for having a club. Yeah, exactly. Several rules. Uh, five members, mm -hmm. a name. A purpose. A purpose. It's going to be a tough mm, one. That's a tricky <laughs> one, yeah. What is our purpose? <laughs> yep. So he heads over. I Actually, I just noticed this as well. So, um, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Off he <laughs> runs. <laughs> then out the door. Yeah. Um, you'll notice Kion is, um, so he says, I found my way slouching over to the, uh, to, to, to the club room. <laughs> but we actually see him. He's kind of, he's, he's got a pace on him. He's, he's yeah. actually moving. Is he? Yeah, he's, he's gonna get there. He's a little intrigued. He's not. He's not dragging his feet. <laughs> and fortunately, Haruhi has found her uh, fourth member, <laughs> poor Mikuru. And again, she locks the door. The door goes door. locked. In. <laughs> <laughs> we have our next captive. <laughs> and again, I think expression is so perfect here, where Mikuru is just so scared, um, and so confused. <laughs> oh, where am I? Just does not know what's going on. <laughs> that's a direct quote. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, this we is the old school. It's a whole different part of the part of yeah. the building. Um, literally old school. <laughs> yeah, literally. And Haruhi uh, is. Uh, uh, it's just ecstatic. Oh, she's bubbling with enthusiasm. Look at this girl. <laughs> because this girl is Moe. She's Moe. <laughs> and not only is she Moe, oh, just check her out. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Her. Yes, her. <laughs> she's perfect for this club. <laughs> Why? One very easy reason. <laughs> look at look. Um, <laughs> she's walking around explaining. <laughs> she's showing up in anime magazines and how cute she is. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, a little, little bit of a... Uh, uh, Rose-colored glasses there, <laughs> and look at and these. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> They're great, even though she's shorter than me. <laughs> this Kion can't look away. Kion can't look this away. Is, uh, just, <laughs> she doesn't even bat an eye. She's, uh, she's busy she leafing through her book. <laughs> um, so after that little bit of sexual assault, um, Kion actually literally pulls Haruhi off of Mikuru, which I love. Um, and then uh, Haruhi wants Mikuru to stay here. And then there's this interesting moment, um, which, uh, again, I think a lot of people don't notice um, as it's passing. Because Haruhi says, yeah, she, she'll be here. Um, and then she, uh, um, she, yeah, she asks, um, 
What clubs are you a part of? Calligraphy club. Oh, you can leave that one. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Club. Yeah. Um, You're part of this now. <laughs> <laughs> She's already predetermined for her. Exactly. I'm making choices for you. And then Mikuro glances over to Yuki and her eyes widen. Mm. And there's this kind of moment where that, what? Hmm? Hmm? And Mikuru says, I understand. I'll stay. Hmm. And it's kind of interesting. That's, Why that's, would that that's happen? That's unusual. Yeah. What was yeah. that cue that made in her go hmm. click? Oh, well, I, I will stay. Yeah. Even though you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why will she stay? Why will she stay? But she's she decided. She, she seems to be a pretty passive person. Um, but she's willing to go along with it. Um, notice how short she is. Yeah. Um, despite being a junior. Um, and these are all freshmen. But um, actually, I guess Yuki is a, would be a, a the sophomore. upperclassman, <laughs> but, but she's, she's timid as an underclassman. <laughs> exactly. And so we finally have our, our name for the uh, the thing. Love that that shot. I just wanted to yeah. point that out again. The uh, the wonderful camera work here, where we do the CGI <laughs> oh. pull down and then yeah. zoom into the room. Uh, it's, it's rather wonderful. And uh, yeah, Haruhi has that 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 thing. Um, the SOS Brigade. Which makes absolutely no sense, uh, but that's okay. That's the whole whole point. And of course, Haruhi's name is in it. It's very important. <laughs> the SOS Brigade. SOS Brigade. Um, Coming up with a purpose to keep her from getting bored. Pretty, pretty much. That's that's the purpose. And I think we all we all agree that's a pretty good purpose. <laughs> uh, it's funny. She's looking for excitement. The girl in the book is like. The antithesis of excitement. She's Indeed. sitting here, not even doing more than "hello, how, who are you?" And so, yeah. okay, <laughs> just don't bug me. I'm reading exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I also love how when he when he asks about the book, um, he says, "What's it's unique? What about it's unique? All of it, all of it." Hmm. Gee, <laughs> I, I guess you like unique in, things. In depth conversation there. <laughs> Yeah, and then of course the the famous Hare Hare Yukai dance <laughs> is the name of this. Um, what's also fun is they even include scenes in this that aren't in the um, uh, the anime. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's scenes. So uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so for those who aren't aware, uh, Haruhi is based on a series of novels, mm -hmm. uh, short novels, light novels. And so uh, when the anime was adapted, there was. Uh, more books than they could fit into the the uh, anime series. Oh. So some of these little shots you see in the opening and ending cream, uh, uh, credit sequence are indications of other <laughs> stuff. And they're <laughs> all doing it. Um, yeah, this was a, a big, <laughs> big deal. Um, so we start to see uh, yeah some some possible oh coming some stuff. Oh, oh, she's, she's handing things out. Our purpose, our oh agenda, boy. Our, wow. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was Harvey Susan Me. So um, so what did you think of this episode in terms of where it went? Brilliant. <laughs> if, if, if I have to introduce myself to people, I, I've, I've got to use that line. You know, it, <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm Evan. Uh, if you're not an alien or uh, time some, some time traveler or something, uh, I'm not interested in you. Uh, but if you are, come and talk to me. <laughs> that's and so I, crazy. I that agree. Funny. And, and I think that's it's a good example of of how Haruhi kind of advertises the kind of audience it wants. <laughs> you know, we've all had that thought. We've all just you know we're sitting there with twenty other people going through this and like, look. If you're interesting, let's talk. Otherwise, just go back to your mundane lives. Come on. Oh wow. But yeah. So there's um. <laughs> Um, so we start to see a bit more of the characters. Obviously, episode one or episode zero, I guess you could call it, um, um, is is more of a, a teaser about the characters uh, for the, the previous episode. Whereas this actually gets us into who the characters now are. Now we can see a little bit more about who is making this video <laughs> from the SOS Brigade <laughs> and uh, a little bit of the driving force behind mm -hmm. it. Yes, maybe exactly. some of the content as well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit. Um, so I want to go back to some of those things about uh, a character expression, because mm. there's just some some very interesting work here. I think in terms of how characters. I mean, here's a, here's a great example of how this this shot of Mikuro from when she's being grabbed by Haruhi. Um, <laughs> yeah, her eyebrows are really high. She's obviously worried. She has a little, a little tears in the corners of her eyes. Um, she's blushing slightly, um, and it's this perfect um, expression of kind of. 
frightened innocence. Yes, <laughs> that that's a that's a good way of describing it. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, you know, without giving too much away, there's there's you know you, you can see what's what's behind her her head, and then as you were talking about Haruhi, how oh, just that look of determination, <laughs> just that right. And, and I, I love the, how how high her mouth rides on her face, just that mm, up there, <laughs> yeah. um, you know that that V of her her eyes. I think she always has that when she's pondering her responses uh, to Kion. It, it's it, it's great. She you can really see her kind of taking things in as she's listening yes exactly and, and thinking shot here <laughs> <laughs> ah, need to... oh that's we that's a perfect example yeah there, look at that she's got the brows furrow kind of she's brows down hmm. and, and I, I particularly like in this the, thoughtful um the size of the eyebrows you mm. notice that where they they really they're they're, they're not bushy, but they're very long. They really emphasize the expressions Ooh, of the characters. Um, and also, and this has become a Kyoto animation thing, even by anime standards, pretty big eyes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they really fill <laughs> the face, and of course the eyes have been to the soul. So it gives you more of that, that expressiveness of the characters. Um, also, um, slightly unusual by anime standards um, is how they draw characters. Um, you'll notice um, uh, once uh, characters get head on, especially with Haruhi, she has no nose. Mm. Um, he'll do a little bit of a tick for the nose. Yeah. But they really kind of ignore that because it's, it's another line in the face that kind of gets in the way. You know, I hadn't noticed that before, but now that you pointed that out, that, wow, that puts it in a whole new light. <laughs> um, it makes her a little bit more, uh, uh, a little cuter, yeah. I would say. Another, you know, the guys often have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Kion gets at the line. Yeah. Uh, to really demarcate his face. Um, but they really try to, uh, to minimize that. You see the same thing with Yuki, no nose. And then once we get over to, to Mikuru, almost <laughs> basically nothing. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Um, but uh, again, I think they do, a, they do an amazing job in this of, of getting across what characters are, are feeling. And, and again, what's interesting about this series, I think also, is that the characters are not in an in an average anime um, situation, hmm. so they're dealing with these. Um, I mean, when was the last time you saw Naruto utterly confused? Hmm. You know, um, or trying to figure yeah, out it's someone. It's a, a nicer palette of 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 reactions and emotions and yeah responses. Right, um, and so you know, you, you get different kind of 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 uh, of. of Reactions to people than you do in an, in an average um, an average anime series, which um, I, I think again I think they do a, a really good job of in here. Um, and and also I, I appreciate just kind of the pacing of this episode, mm. where you you know not a huge amount happens. We've certainly seen anime series where a lot happens in one episode, yeah. um, but we get the characters, we see what's, what's going on, we kind of move on from there. Kind of nice. Any others on this episode? Well, now. I remember you mentioned that this mm. series is different uh, release date than yes. it is chronological. And mm -hmm. so this would be, uh, where would this actually fall in the uh, chronological versus... So this is the first episode chronologically. Mm. This is the introduction of the characters. Um, mm. Now, th there's other stuff about um, some of the characters, like backstories that we, we haven't seen. Um, but those don't show up at all in, in this, this season or this series. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we are now seeing kind of the beginning of, of the of the story, if you will. So uh, yeah, the SOS Brigade. SOS <laughs> Brigade. I think they, they need some SOS. Yeah. Come on out, someone for some SOS there. I love I love how she just pulls him by the tie. Once she gets it in her head, she's going for it. Uh, she's yeah. And this girl. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, something else I, I noticed um, again this time when we start the episode. Uh, and we're going to uh, go past the ending credits there. Um, again, I didn't even notice this. Um, it's all monochrome. Mm. And it's monochrome. And this is, of course, Kion talking about how he doesn't really notice things. I mean, it, it's very washed out, I will say. It's very yeah. desaturated. Mm. Um, and he's talking to people and all that. And, you know, they do all the, the normal, normal things. And all that is, is completely desaturated until Haruhi speaks. Oh, sort of a Wizard of Oz type yeah. of thing. Yeah, and then again, very desaturated. He turns. Uh, matter color. of fact, and boom, there it is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
suddenly <laughs> here she, she is she's brought color into his life wild <laughs> perspective on life yeah um and um without getting into to spoiler territory there are some neat moments in this for those of you who've seen later um seasons and, and stuff from haruhi um I, I will point out there's some stuff in this f first episode that does point towards some later plot elements mm -hmm. and kind of hints at some some other plot stuff which is neat to see they're actually kind of thinking about that stuff. It's funny how he says, uh, reality is a hard road. <laughs> <laughs> and here's sure this girl who sues. Who, uh, reality, yeah, that's for you guys. I want the, the cool stuff. I want the... What's the saying that Adam Savage is? I reject your reality and substitute it with my own. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very, very true of this, this show. So we'll be moving on to, to more of that. So moving on to Yamato's first time. And uh, we'll see. Oh, that's right. We have to restart that. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yamada. Uh, Yamada. So this is a fun one, the school trip to Kyoto. Ooh, school trips. School trips. Always fun. Yeah. Get um, away from school. It's off, often fun. A chance to <laughs> sometimes get in trouble. <laughs> often, yeah. So everyone's trying to figure that out. I love how... Um, uh, oh, what's her name? What's her name? Um, the, the, Misoto. Uh, Misoto. Oh, um, Misoto. <laughs> she's pie-eyed. She's all excited about it. And what? she's... She, she has this interesting thing. I want to talk about her a little bit because she's obviously the child of the group. Mm. You know, she, she, she's the most energetic, the most kind of innocent. But she also has this um, complex about her body and about how <laughs> guys are always <laughs> want her. And they're like, you know, no one ever like approaches you at all. It's just, you have nothing going on. Um, but it's there. And she wants to have fun and she's out getting in trouble with everybody <laughs> oh wow she's she, she's not gonna let her 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 small stature or her lack of, of <laughs> development of development stand in her way one bit no exactly she's gonna go for it all <laughs> it's fun to contrast her with yamada um how you know, you know yeah you know, yamada sees herself as this um center of attention and everyone, everyone you know is just falling all over her um, but Misoto is very much, you know, she'll be right there in the middle of it. She'll be doing things. She's very active uh, while Yamada <laughs> has her issues. <laughs> Poor thing. Um, so <laughs> sparkles. Oh, sparkles. Love that. Sparkles. Love that. <laughs> um, so, of course, everyone's a little worried because they're going off to Kyoto for a school trip together, uh, which means somewhat less parental involvement. Than, uh, than <gasps> oh, usual. the imaginations oh, run wild. Gosh, they the they sure do. <laughs> My gosh, they sure do. Um, uh, so he oh, gets some, some sister. sister. The sister, and I, I love that she's doing weights to a uh, a masked wrestler behind her. <laughs> I didn't I, notice I, masked I just, I, I want to know what's going on there. <laughs> Exercise, <I> really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, but uh, they have this this great little uh, conversation about how. You know, uh, he needs to explain that his feelings for you. You have to say those three little words <laughs> every girl loves to hear. And once she falls for that BS, then you can do this. <laughs> that that's a sister. That's a sister. <laughs> that's a sister. <laughs> <laughs> once she falls for that BS. <laughs> I love her expression here. Very oh, no, that's sneaky beautiful. and evil. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an Oni there. Yeah. Remember a Japanese demon. <laughs> Cute. Um, and so... Uh, I gotta figure out what's gonna, what's gonna happen. The whole, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they can kiss her anywhere you want to. Um, <laughs> and of course, he takes that, <laughs> <laughs> which is exactly what she means. <laughs> so planning for the trip. I love how little sister is so supportive. Oh, um, despite what? the fact what's that this you're for... carrying <laughs> a book on hotels. <laughs> and <laughs> the reason that's funny, by the way, folks, in case you didn't catch it, is that. You know, the schools got all the hotels covered. Yeah, like you know, they know where they're going to sit. So the only reason you need another hotel is if you were spending a night with somebody. Well, they have a thing called a love hotel. They also they have that too. Yeah, very that's true. A, <laughs> something Yamada would be definitely interested <laughs> very much in. So, <laughs> remember they, they tried to find one. And yeah, that's episode. right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, her! I love her stance there. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she. Uh, Mount Fuji. She's a villain. Yeah, there's Mount Fuji <laughs> with the train going. And, and that's our hint to, to so, folks. Oh, there, there she is. 
Have I tried <laughs> getting all the snacks, vinegar all, all flavored, the, vinegar snack. flavored chocolates. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> She's all excited until she eats it. <laughs> I want a beer. <laughs> oh no, you don't. And no, then don't. all the guys' reaction. <laughs> Oh, she's so hot when she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a hornball in this series. It's yeah. hilarious. So here, I think we start getting into some more uh, character stuff. Uh, the Shutterbug, like, where um, develop developing characters. I love the flowers. Developing, <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah. The, good karma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's taking pictures, and Yamada uh, gets jealous. Jealousy. Man, mm -mm -mm. she just can't get rid of it. Despite the fact that she's barely spent any time yeah. with the guy. And, and when he does try and spend, she's like, I'm not doing this because of you. <laughs> <laughs> but how dare he spend time with any other girl? Okay. In fact, at one point, her oh. her, uh, uh, her little sex goddess says, can't figure out girls. Just, you know, <laughs> girls are just... Uh, the heart of a girl is inscrutable. Um so, uh, but he really plays the social butterfly at this really point does. because everybody's there. They all yeah. want their picture. Mm -hmm. He's ready. He's got the eye for it. And <laughs> you can't compliment anybody because you might have exactly. not take it right. <laughs> uh, her friend <laughs> to the rescue. Yeah. Okay, how do we pull this out of a tailspin? <laughs> you <mother's> gonna... <laughs> so they often take a picture together, which doesn't quite work out the way they, they, they want to. <laughs> so don't photobomb! <laughs> 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 photobomb! Oh. Oh, the photobomb. You know. That was quite a they, train ride. They take things so seriously here. <laughs> I, I love Ooh. how we suddenly get these lovingly drawn um, <gasps> pictures of gorgeous. Her, Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And obviously, they're using photographic reference. Oh, I'd um, love to frame those. <laughs> oh, I know. And there's some, some great stuff here. It's interesting seeing how they use these modeled colors um, for, for the backgrounds, where obviously, so what I think they're doing there is, generally speaking, um, so if you, you see for the greens, for example, they're taking a sort of a black and white drawing of the outlines and then sort of blurring in various colors for the, for the different greens. And does a very nice job of getting this across without requiring you know, 58 hours of drawing every single leaf. A little blending. A little blending. Um, and it, it's very effective at getting getting that across. Beautiful work. Um, and also the kind of the, the, the sunset tones. Very pretty. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the food. And uh, oh, childhood friend is, <laughs> is, is there. Oh, I don't need you anymore. She's imagining this. And now her... her um, Anxiety gets up. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he won't mm -hmm. need me. <laughs> oh, all the all these uh, anxieties you get from yeah. all the different characters. Everyone's just so being able to view into their mm -hmm. their head, of course, and yep. their imagination. And <laughs> this was a wonderful sequence. Oh, I love this. So they're in the uh, bathhouse, and the very the, the character where so we're, we're we're seeing all the characters. And getting whoa! In, suddenly in, it the, takes a turn here. It sure does. Oh um, my! But and then it's we... <laughs> a bubble of him imagining this. Imagining this while he's in the hot tub mm -hmm. or in the uh, uh, onsen. In the, yeah, in the, in, in the bath. They're and, all and and suddenly something arises, <laughs> and then they're talking about comparison. But that's actually that's a thought mother. bubble in your mind's head, <laughs> and nested like the Russian nesting yeah. dolls. <laughs> These imaginations, beautifully done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's uh, very interesting stuff. So they're all trying to get, to get to bed. So it's typical, of course, on school trips to start, you know, talking about uh, your, your past experiences. It's too early to go to sleep. Let's right. chat. <laughs> Which is all, all up for. Tell me now. Mm -hmm. What was it like? What was your first time like? There's no escape. <laughs> you have to tell us. And, I mean, really, Sorry, how yeah. embarrassing, <laughs> you know? It's like, I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Put on the spot there. Mm -hmm. Why don't, don't you, you tell? <laughs> I have nothing to tell. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's not my fault. And so they, they gang up on her, and finally no, she's no, gonna. No. <laughs> he, he, he can't escape us. He so, must tell us now. So finally she decides to, to tell them all. Uh, just to get, get them off her back. Okay. And then of course, as soon as she does that, hey, you what know. happens? But lights comes out. The teacher. Light, lights <laughs> Go out. to bed. <laughs> Saved by the teacher. Exactly. <laughs> And, and I love how the the gag just continues. <laughs> she comes in ready to whack them. Up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> and so they all go. And and, and again, Misoto having having a great time. <laughs> She's all around. 
beautiful shots. Uh, beautiful. It makes beautiful me want to tour. It sure does. Kyoto oh. is amazing. And here they are at, um, I forget the name of it, but the, I believe the East Temple is what it's called. Um, and so, <laughs> oh, Yamada. <laughs> love this. So, Yamada sneaks off to, to try to find that some. Was the chance. Yeah, they, they can get some alone time. I can get him. <laughs> so, so I'll she sends text him. She, 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 she texts him, and the, the text is, and we're not going to the, the, uh, the <laughs> overlay here, but it's basically, uh, come find me, let's have sex. Uh, <laughs> and his response has got to be spam. Delete. It's got to be spam. <laughs> She's all excited. Oh, no, spam. <laughs> oh, not going to work. Her, her, gonna her work. plans always seem to backfire. <laughs> oh, here, the monks. <laughs> we will whack you. And she imagines <laughs> getting off on that. Exactly. <laughs> no, you must reject all earthly yeah. thoughts as an example of this class. And of course, the earthly thoughts <laughs> suddenly flood into everybody's in. mind. <laughs> don't think about an elephant. Just don't uh, stop thinking about elephants. Don't think about elephants at all. As, as they think of these, he comes over and whacks them. And, uh, uh, everybody's attempt to uh, mm -hmm. to keep focused. Yep. <laughs> oh, he, he falls in love. Oh, he gets whacked. That, that was hilarious. So for those who are listening, um, uh, oh. one of the girls is trying to... Uh, uh, trying to get into position the, and the she falls over. Friend. Yeah. Uh, and so a monk comes over to a corrector, but she's just so Instead cute. Instead of whacking her, he, yeah. he, he has a heart floats out, <laughs> indicating he's having his desires now. And Whereupon another monk comes in and whacks him. The superior him. monk comes in and whacks the, <laughs> <laughs> the lower level monk. <laughs> and we get, again, a little bit more character stuff here where we see that the rival is uh, mm. um, holding all sorts of stuff in and keeping perfect composure. And the, the the head monk is 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 amazed. Yeah, she's not showing these, but mm -hmm. he knows that she has the yeah. two dueling sides. It's pretty scary when you think about yeah. it. Yeah, mm. she has such willpower. He says. And yeah, she does. Uh, <laughs> from what we've seen, have quite some incredible. What do we willpower. call it? Psychotic willpower. And um, a lust for her brother. Yeah, <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> but Yamada, two thousand one. Yes, two thousand one music. Dun, dun, dun. She, she knows what she wants. H. She absolutely knows what she wants. That is perfectly clear. <laughs> All the monks All are amazed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, un unfortunately, we, we we ran short on yes on on, on some time. So we're we're gonna stop it there for Halfway. smoking mirrors today. Yes, and Half. we'll 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 come back next time and talk more about the rest of Yamada's first time. As those technical difficulties got in the way. Exactly, but we will we will make it uh, we'll make it work out. Yes. Um, so yes, so we'll be we're gonna talk we'll back on Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday. Yes. That, so coming soon. Exactly. Yeah, that's the plan. So um, she looks beautiful in that. She does. The uh, lovely um, kimono, uh, Kyoto style kimono. Mm. Very pretty. So this is a very common thing. You get an eye catch. It's called in in the uh, uh, during the commercial break for every episode. So about halfway through. Um, and they're established this thing where in a lot of anime series, they'll draw something new for every eye catch. So, oh, so yeah. some, some drawing. Uh, I, I like some of them there. They, they invert the, uh, the, the theme. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can tell when they the eye catches it. flip from, uh, exiting the program to returning mm -hmm. to the program. Yeah. A very different and a uh, different, different picture. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes uh, some music, uh, is, uh, they do with, uh, other TV bumpers. Mm-hmm. Going yeah. to, but it's it's always in the middle it seems yeah there's and, only one commercial break and it's it, un, unlike other uh u.s programming mm. where you have multiple mm. spots where they break it up for commercials yeah this is a little bit more comfortable because you know you're not going to get bombarded with uh stuff that breaks the uh, flow exactly. of the program yeah now that is changing somewhat these days so sometimes yeah. they'll, they'll insert commercials anyway advertising oh, uh, yeah can't get away from gotta it gotta pay for it somehow it's yeah close. but meanwhile but, um drink gatorade <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hate advertising, but <laughs> nineteen million hour energy. <laughs> yeah, no advertisements. How was that Dunkin' Donuts? It was great. <laughs> Today was Donut Day. It was, and you made happy, donuts. Happy yeah. National Yes, Happy National Delicious. Donut Day. En enjoy your um, pretty irredeemably bad for you food ah uh, delicious but delicious uh the more the flavor <laughs> exactly it, it, it's hard to find many health benefits to donuts but mm. that's you know that's okay that's fine yeah um I remember alton brown doing an episode of um good eats and he was making ice cream 
mm-hmm. and he brought in stuff and then he he said okay we're going to use uh you know a quarter heavy cream oh. and sugar <sighs> and he looked at the camera and said i didn't say low fat ice cream <laughs> no <I> said, yep. yeah <laughs> real ice cream <laughs>